In this video, I'm going to show you how you can import a CSV file and create a random quiz that is tied to your learning objectives. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make YouTube videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring software Adobe Captivate. If you like what I'm doing here today, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and by all means, share it with all of your e-learning colleagues. So I got a message from one of the members of my YouTube channel. I'm going to blur out their name for privacy purposes, but you can see here they've got the CT logo next to them, which means they are a supporter of Captivate Teacher. And if you want to do the same, there are there is an opportunity to press join uh, right next to this video if that's something you want to do. Uh, this particular member wrote, hello, Paul. So if you have a CSV file with 60 multiple choice questions and I would want Captivate to randomly select 10 each uh, time for a quiz, can I do that? And do you have to randomize manually? Uh, thank you. And of course, the member's name there, which again, I'm going to blur out for privacy reasons. Um, I'm going to take it a step further. Not only am I going to show you how you can import a comma separated value file uh, to be the source of your e-learning questions, your random questions at the end of an e-learning course, but I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to ensure that questions associated with every single learning objective will always be displayed in this random quiz. Let me show you. Okay, so the goal here, of course, is to have randomized quizzes, but I want to ensure that there are enough questions for each learning objective. And the solution there is to create um, a CSV file for each of my learning objectives. So let's take a look at the first one as an example here. So I have 10 questions, and these are all written for my first learning objective. And then in this file, I have a second learning objective, another 10 questions, again, specific to that learning objective. And the third, obviously the same idea here. So I've got my Adobe Captivate project ready to go. Here it is. And what I want to do, first of all, is import those questions into separate question pools. So to do that, we need to click on the window drop down menu and select question pool. Now, if you don't have this on your screen, the possibility could be that you're using an earlier version of Adobe Captivate. I'm running version 12.4. Obviously, newer ones would be the same thing. But when you open up question pools, obviously, there's no question there yet. So the add new slide icon is what you're going to use to import question pools. And you can create questions one by one if you wish, or if you have a CSV file like I've prepared, we can go ahead and import the first one there. So I'm going to navigate to my desktop here. We'll select learning objective 01, and I'll go ahead and press open. So you can see now it's importing all the questions for that particular question pool. You can select question pools from this little drop down arrow here, and it might make sense to rename it. So I'm going to click on the ellipses icon and we'll rename this first question pool. We'll call it learning objective 01 and press done. So now I need to create a new question pool for the learning objective number two. I'm going to click this plus icon right here and create a pool. And we'll do the same thing again. We'll repeat importing a CSV file, except this time we're going to choose learning objective number two. Click on open and all of those question slides will come in. Okay. And like before, we're going to rename this so that it's real obvious that this is for learning objective 02. Click done. And now I will do one more because I have three learning objectives and therefore three question pools. And we'll click on the plus icon, import CSV, and we'll choose our third CSV file. 
and like before I'll just give this a new name here. Okay, we'll click done. So now that we've finished working with our question pools, we have three of them for the three different learning objectives that this course covers. I'm going to go ahead and press the exit button in the upper right hand corner here and return to our regular Adobe Captivate project. So starting with the assessment intro, I can click on the plus new slide icon here and we'll select a random question and this will create a random question placeholder and you can associate it with one of your three learning objectives over in the properties inspector here. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with learning objective one. I'm just going to simply control D this slide to duplicate it and we'll make the second question associated with learning objective number two and we'll do the same thing for the third slide. We'll make that associated with learning objective number three. Now we have a total of 30 questions. I don't want to ask my learners 30 questions. I want to ask them 10. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of my question slides. Again, there's one associated with each learning objective. And I'm going to press Control D twice to end up with nine questions. And to me, the third learning objective is the most important. So to equal this out and end up with a total of 10 questions, I'm going to duplicate that last one again so that we have a total of 10 questions there. And so now what we're going to have is when a student runs through this, the first question will be specific to learning objective number one. Learning objective number two will be the second question. Learning objective three will be covered by the third question. And the fourth will return to learning objective one. And it will keep repeating that until all the questions have been presented. And the beauty of this is that while it's still completely a random quiz, all the learning objectives will be represented equally or slightly equally because the third one will get an extra question. But this will be a great solution here. Let's test this out starting with the assessment intro here. Okay, so here we go. Now I've set this assessment to allow for retries here. So here we are, question one, why is it important to establish rapport? Remember that. And we'll just go and put in a bunch of wrong answers. We'll purposely get this incorrect here. And we'll see what happens when we get to the end of our assessment here. I'm just randomly picking answers here because I purposely want to fail this. So here we are. I got only 20 points, so there's a potential 100, obviously 20%. Let's retake the quiz. Now, this is what's interesting. This first question is still from the first learning objective, but remember the first question before was about rapport, and now it's a completely different question, still from the first question pool, which is associated with the learning objective number one, but now it's a completely different question. So learners won't see the same questions over and over again like we would have seen in previous versions of Adobe Captivate. Each time they retake the quiz, they'll get a completely different quiz, which I think is a really great way to assess our learners if they've done the learning that they should have done in the first place. But to me, this is how you should really write a quiz in Adobe Captivate. You should make sure that you are hitting all of the learning objectives by creating those CSV files and importing them and making them individual question pools that you draw from. So that, yes, it's random, but more importantly, each version of the quiz will be weighted properly for the learning objectives but also a completely random quiz. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.